Well, we have a continuing story on one tribe's decision to boot non-tribal members off the reservation. The Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe is refusing to renew leasing contracts for lakeshore property, asking cabin owners to move their homes off the lots. The tribe wants to build housing for homeless tribal members. One woman is fighting the tribe, saying she has a right to, to the land where her family's cabin sits. She's from another Chippewa tribe and says she has a right to that land and is fighting her eviction. Kenneth Chase has more. With this contract, it's been very stressful. Jan Yanish thought her family cabin would be hers for at least another three years until the contract with the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe expired. I've had a few tears, um, a lot of anger and frustration. But she was wrong. I can't really put a price on it because to me it's worth a lot more than what it, just because of the memories and how long we've been there. Yanish is one of over 300 cabin owners facing eviction. She's gone to tribal meetings to try to save her family's summer home, but to no avail. She's especially surprised because she says she is a member of another Minnesota Chippewa tribe. I don't understand why it's happening to other native band members because the land that it is on is Minnesota Chippewa tribe land. According to the Minnesota Chippewa tribe, the land is actually owned by the feds and put in a trust giving control to the Leech Lake Band. So all summer we've had people that found out that their leases weren't being renewed calling, but there's not much we can do, we just tell them all the same thing. Frazier says the MCT is unwilling to step in because Leech Lake's choice to not renew the leases falls within the Constitution. They have authority to do what they want with, their, with the land within the reservation. And I've heard that this could possibly cause a domino effect with other reservations. Fearing no other options, she's forced to sell the family's cabin. Do you think you're going to get a fair price for that? No. And if I got what I even paid for it, I'd be happy. Levi Brown with the Department of, Na of, of Resource Management says their records indicate Yanish's contract ended in July of this year. He says they are still honoring existing leases. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.